Today's question is, do dental impressions make you gag? And are there alternatives? The reason I bring that up is I learned from experience that uh, a gagging patient with dental impressions is not a good idea. My wife, I was married in dental school and decided to get ahead of the game and practice taking dental impressions. And who better to practice on than my wife? And I learned very quickly that maybe not such a good idea. Did not know that my wife had such a gag reflex. And uh, I was in a lab at the dental school and the seniors made fun of the freshman making his wife throw up. So we learned very early that uh, dental impressions are often not a fun experience. And why is that? Well, the gooey material that we use for dental impressions can trigger a gag reflex or a gag response from patients that is unpleasant. But we have alternatives. Today, we have digital impressions. We have digital scanners that can scan the teeth and stitch the images together and create models or virtual models of the teeth. And from there, we can move forward for restorative purposes, for orthodontic purposes, or just about any purpose that we normally would use stone models for can be done digitally. The advantage that we've got with that, besides just the uh, gag issue, is the accuracy. Now, when we take impressions, we eventually want to take that tray of gooey stuff out of your mouth. And in order to do that, we have to have the material have a certain amount of flexibility. And that flexibility creates a little bit of distortion. Now, the lab, when we pour that up in stone, we mix a powder and liquid, and we have different expansion type of stone that we counteract the distortion. But we're really multiplying the error. And so we have a little bit of distortion from the impression, a little distortion from the stone model work. And so it's not unusual when we try to put a crown on a tooth when we're all done that we have to polish and adjust and do monkey around with it to get it to fit. With the digital impressions, we can go straight to the models. The models themselves are exact replicas. This is the same type of technology that we use to make airplane parts. We take this replica, fabricate the restoration, and when it comes time to place the crown on, it fits so perfectly that we have virtually zero adjustments to do. Occasionally, I never say never. I don't want to make it sound like I don't have to do anything because sometimes I do have to adjust the bite, adjust the contact so you can floss, whatever it is. However, some, a much more significant decrease in adjusting. And then crowns that didn't get adjusted just last a lot longer. So if you have a gag reflex, if you can't take dental impressions very easily or you avoid dentistry because of the gooey mess that is often used, come check us out. We have digital impressions. Just took some impressions of my wife. No gag. It took a little bit longer. The downside is it takes instead of maybe two, three minutes to take an impression, it might take more like five or six. But the trade-off is, is tremendously worth it. No gag. No mess. No issues. It's just that easy. Dr. Timmerman is known internationally with licenses in multiple states in the United States plus Belgium and Dubai for cosmetic, implant, and sleep dentistry with fellowships in the International Congress for Oral Implantology and the Academy of General Dentistry and a diplomate in the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine. If you would like to become a patient of Dr. Timmerman or simply have questions, please go to our website, www.drtimmerman.com. That is www.drtimmerman.com. Or call us at 206-241-5533. Or you could email questions for an episode of a future podcast at thewholetoothpodcast at gmail.com.